Let's review the business use case for our extensions activity. Your company's system integration team wants to create a process to use separate databases based on login credentials. This allows the data in both the production and development databases to be current and provide for more accurate testing of system modifications and upgrades. This can be accomplished by changing the parameter values of extensions in a process. We're going to enable extensions, set an extension value for each environment, the process connected to the development database, org-track dev, will use dev user for the owner field, and the process connecting to the production database, org-track, will have the owner field set to user. We'll test the extension values. We'll also deploy the process to both our production and test environments setting extension values for each environment. Let me demonstrate the activity first and then you can complete it. This is on pages 7 to 16 of the activity guide. First, I'm going to create a new folder to house the activities in Developer 2. So next to the Boomi Training root folder, I'll create a new folder. And then in Developer 2, I'm going to create a subfolder to house this activity called Extensions. Now I will load the process from the process library. To search the processes, I'm going to add a filter of dev2, and then the extensions activity is what I want to install. I'll put that in the folder I just created and click Install. Now, to set extensions in the Build tab, I need to click the Extensions tab above the Process Canvas. But I'm going to select here for Extensible Properties the database name, and I'll click OK. Next, I'm going to open the Map Contact Flat File to Database. So in the Process Map, the Get Dynamic Process Property function is mapped to the owner field here in the destination profile. And this property value is populated at runtime based on the extension property set in the environment. We can see the property name of owner with a default value here of default. So I'll click OK and close the map. I'm going to come back to the Extensions tab, and then under Dynamic Process Properties, I'm going to add the same property name from the map. Now I'm going to execute the process here in the Build tab to test the extensions. So click Test, select the Test Atom Cloud, and then expand Test Extensions. I'm going to uncheck Use Default, and I'm going to start by connecting to the development database, so I'll enter org track dev. This is spelling and case sensitive, so you do want to enter the value exactly as it's found in the activity guide. Now under Dynamic Process Properties, I'll enter dev user for the owner of the database. and run a test. Now I can look at the connector shape and in the connection data view the document 
and I can see here that I was able to connect to that database with the owner dev user. Let me run another test. to connect to the production database. So here the owner name is user, the database name is org track. And looking at the connector, connection data, I can verify that I am connecting to the production database. Next, I'll deploy the process to set extension values at the environment level. So I'll click Deploy, highlight Extensions Activity, and under Attachments, I'm going to attach both production and test environments. And then I'll deploy the latest revision of the process. In both production and test environments. Now I'm going to come to manage at a management to change the extension values. First, in the production environment, I'm going to highlight production. And then under environment extensions, I'll enter the database name of org track. And under dynamic process properties, the owner name is user. And in the test environment, the database name org track dev with an owner name of dev user. All right, so I've defined different values in both production and test environments. Now I'm going to come to process reporting where I will manually execute the process. So the production environment using the production Atom Cloud, I'll execute the process. I'll execute the process again in our test environment in the test atom cloud. And if I auto refresh, we see that the process completed successfully in both environments, in the atom cloud and test atom cloud. So with extensions enabled, we're able to connect to two different databases without having to alter the process in the Build tab. Now it's your turn to complete the extensions activity. It's found on pages 7 to 16 of the activity guide.